Yo, a lot of people want to know if they should skip Shin Yi for Jane Doe. I know you might be a follower for Coomer meta, or you just really think that Jane is so powerful. And since I tried both characters, I don't think the answer is yes for everybody. But before that, I want to say that this is the early access from the creator beta server, so some things for Jane are subject to change. So to know if you want to get Jane, let's see what Jane can do. So I'm going to give you her kit as fast as possible, I'm not gonna waste your time. So Jane is basically a main DPS, you have to build this meter by using your your normal attacks or your perfect dodge or your assist when you build this meter you will enter a state your dodge will change and your dodge attack will change you will also have a powerful charge attack and also whenever you trigger assault you will do an insane insane amount of damage her ult is also very powerful and it does an insane amount of aoe damage the thing about jane is that she's so easy to build because she can get free crit rate from her core skill all you have to do is build for her anomaly proficiency also jane is so f2p friendly because her best character in slot for now is Seth, the 4 star character that will come out with her in her banner. Not only that, she also has a lot of options for the 3rd place, you can use Grace with her, you can use Rina, you can use Lucy or Piper, not only that, she also has some good W engines to get as 4 stars. So she has an absurd amount of damage, good 4 star options in terms of characters and also W engines, so basically so F2P friendly. But if you wanna really skip Shin Yi, you have to at least know what Shin Yi does, and Shin Yi is basically a stun character that can build uh, also a meter by just using this uh, infinite ability that looks so cool and whenever you use your charge attack you will get an insane buff which is like you do like 260% more damage or something crazy like that when you're stunned and that's her bread and butter she doesn't do an insane amount of damage but you can put her in every single team so if you want to know which is uh, more future proof which might be better in the meta in the future Shinny is easily better but if you want something that will carry you insanely and is so powerful Jane Doe is that character because Shin Yi's buff is insane I would suggest that most people get Shin Yi to be honest because of how powerful she is but Jane's damage is to be honest currently insane like I don't know what they did but from the start they gave us an insane big DPS and her numbers are crazy so now let's talk about every scenario if you did skip Ellen Joe and also Ju Yuan you need to skip Shin Yi and get this character or actually if you skipped both you actually can get both like try your luck and get Shin Yi and also Jane Doe and if you were somebody who skipped Ellen Joe but you also have Zhu Yuan you need to get Shin Yi like Shin Yi is kind of game changer for Zhu Yuan so I really suggest you that you get her and if you have Ellen Joe and you skipped Zhu Yuan you actually can pick one of both but you have to see your other characters for example do you have Grace if you have Grace you easily uh, go with Jane Doe do you have a Lycon for example and you have a built Lycon you might then prefer to get your Jane Doe and if you have Zhu Yuan and also Ellen Joe here I will still say that Shin Yi will be better but also it's like just slightly especially if you have a Grace or a Rina so yeah that was basically it I hope that I found every scenario I tried to find every scenario and help you as fast as possible anyway if you don't subscribe now you're gonna lose your 50-50 bye bye